Now, another market which uh, we're following closely and tracking at the moment is oil. I find oil very interesting at the moment, the overall price structure. What I would be aware of at the moment on oil, go over to the weekly chart. And if you look at the weekly chart, we've been stuck in a consolidation with oil now going back to December and January. We've been moving sideways. And you could argue, OK, oil is breaking out, but it's come up for a retest of the upper end of the trend channel. And it's horizontal. It's just stuck at the moment within a range. The bulls have the upside today, certainly. We're stuck in this range. But I do see in terms of uh, trading opportunities from a risk reward perspective, there's more downside opportunity here than upside, especially where we're seeing net long positions get a bit exhausted at the moment where they're at the highest levels in over a year. So I would look at this as definitely right now, Bulls are in charge of this market short term today. If we don't get follow through, so if oil was unable to break and close above $54 and approximately $55 US per barrel, if it cannot follow through and it just comes up to resistance and rolls over again, then that will probably be a failed breakout. Now, on the daily chart here, you can see it's broken above resistance, some resistance. It's still got a little bit more work to do, break above $54.85 a barrel. Otherwise, it will have a, a potential failed move and we'll just see it ricochet back down to support. It will roll over again. What is in the favor of the, the bull market at the moment? Well, the fact well, of the bulls, of, of buyers right now. Well, we have got two days of higher highs, higher lows and closes which are above key support at the moment. So that's in favor. Also, oil right now is above all of its key moving averages. So it's trending upwards and it's been a continue. It's, in, it's been in a sideways moving consolidation pattern for the last month now. So that bodes well for, for buyers right now. What um, is discouraging for buyers at the moment? I would say that we've had a number of attempted breakouts for oil where it's not been able to sustain above resistance. And really, we should have broken out by now from this level of overhead resistance. Even last week on Thursday, we had another breakout higher, which didn't follow through. The bears took the market back down again. We've had a number of tests of uh, overhead resistance, which haven't followed through, which have resulted in closes back below resistance here. Uh, so uh, on the for the bull case, it's been difficult to get follow through. Normally, the way oil moves is it will consolidate and then within a few days, it will have these big breakouts and surges. It's not that promising the fact that today, even now, oil is retracing again. You would normally expect a lot more follow through on a breakout. You would see it surge and just keep breaking out. And if it was going to be a stronger follow through, it should already be at 55 should already have hit the monthly pivot above here. And the fact that it's it's really starting to slow down again here during the US session, you can see it's starting to pull back again, go to tighter timeframes, and you can see it's struggling yet again here to follow through. So I'm neutral at the moment on oil. I would say overall chart structure looks more bullish than bearish, but I wouldn't be a buyer of this market just yet. You could argue there is a box set up and we're potentially, it's a consolidation set up for a continuation pattern, but I would be a bit wary of oil here. Unless it can close above 55 US dollars a barrel, then I suspect then we could be on for a, the next leg higher. Otherwise, sitting on hands, waiting to see how this um, structure on the weekly chart develops and whether we get a break and a close above that. So essentially, if you go over to a weekly chart for oil, you're ricocheting between support and resistance. If oil breaks above $55 a barrel and on a closing weekly basis, that will be the highest close it's had over the last year. If it closes above 55, then yes, you've got the signal to go long. If it can't do that, I would sit on hands and wait for a clearer signal. And certainly we're seeing a number of other markets displaying opportunities to enter trades at the moment. 